r slash dead bedrooms. Additional Eidna 692 says. My wife told me that I don't turn her on anymore, and she suggested sleeping with another man. Throw away account here. My wife 33 female, and I 30 male, have been married for 6 years. Our sex life started out good for the first 2 years, but over time it really dwindled to where we didn't even have sex for the last 2 years at all. Recently I was home from work in the daytime, because of various appointments we had to do, so I took the day off, and we were lying in bed relaxing, and I told her it might be a good time to break the drought. She told me that she wasn't interested. I told her that it had been 2 years, and she had no idea about that. I decided to ask her why not, and she said she didn't feel like it. I asked her why, don't you like sex? And she said something that really hurt me. She said I like sex. I just don't like sex with you. Thinking it was maybe something with my technique or some such I pressed on. I told her that we used to have a lot of sex so what's the problem now, and she said you're really sweet, and you. Talk to me in a high voice backslash, I often sing to her in a high voice, and call me pet names, and it's just a turn off for me. Taken aback, because I thought she liked to be talked to sweetly, and called pet names, she started the habit, I asked her what I could do to get her in the mood again. She thought about it, and then said well, maybe I could have sex with another man, so I could remember what I'm missing out on with you, and then it would make me want to have sex with you again. I just about lost my shiznit. I told her that sucking some other guy's dick backslash, I never talk like that, but I was so mad and insulted backslash, wasn't going to be a solution to solve the problems in our bedroom. She meekly replied I guess not. We still haven't had sex. I don't think she is cheating on me as we just moved to a new city closer to my family, she doesn't know anyone here, and she rarely leaves the house. I know a lot of responses will suggest this but I just don't see any signs of it. We are temporarily staying with my family until we get our own place and we are sharing just the one car which I use for work. It would be logistically hard to cheat, although she could be chatting online or something. I wish I would have asked some more questions instead of shutting it down like who exactly she had in mind, how she thought that would work, or if she had even thought it through at all, and if I could also have that privilege but I didn't. I didn't bring that topic up again and neither did she. I'm so hurt and stunned. A lot of people wonder what the cause of their dead bedroom is, and she told me that I just don't turn her on and another man might. I just don't even know what to say or do. Half the time I want to ask for a divorce and the other half I think maybe it was just something stupid she said, although she never apologized, and we still aren't having sex. We were looking to buy a house together. In this new city and now I just don't even know if I can get over this. I'm not even sure what I'm most mad about. 1. The dead bedroom 2. The fact that she told me she's no longer sexually attracted to me 3. That a solution is to sleep with another man it's like the trifecta of shattering fragile male egos. Prior to this, I would have said that aside from our bedroom problems things were going really well. We get along great, we are affectionate, we don't argue, people always say what a good match we are, my parents love her, and her family loves me too. My mom even got her a job in this new city, which she starts soon and now I feel like I want to just blow it all up, because it was all a lie. She does say she still loves me, and wants to stay married, but she's obviously not attracted to me anymore. Can that even change? Even if it did, it will be hard to put a really insensitive comment behind me. I guess it's better than guessing what the problem in the bedroom is. Lua Nenra says. This should be the end of the road, or at the very least, the halting of all serious undertakings with her. Do no buy a house. Do not have kids, obviously unlikely given no sex. Speak to a solicitor about divorce proceedings, and get things in place, to protect yourself without her knowing. MT Skull says. This, this, this. Get prepared right now for a split. 
if you aren't doing it, she probably already is. That's in 4722 says. Dude hasn't had sex in 2 years, good joke on the having kids part. Dexamphetamine says. Do not buy a house with her, file for divorce, and buy her a plane ticket back to her parents house. Outrageous comb 7818 says. My ex said something similar, and it was the beginning of the end. Puzzle her dead story 773 says. I wouldn't be able to get past this, if I were you. I'd cut my losses and find someone who wants me. Verb McGoing here says. If you don't have kids then for god's sakes do not have any. Eat her after sex says. She is full on telling you she is not into you anymore after no intimacy for 2 years. I'd say it's time to take the hint. You guys are omits. You have to decide if you're satisfied with that being the full extent of your relationship. Wrecked you mate says. Ditch that shit but with a quickness, young blood. No specific 8357 says. I think she wants someone more masculine, but there are plenty of ways to say that without being so insensitive. I'm sorry that happened to you. Jmaynad01 says. Maybe shouldn't have married up then, and drugged him along for years. Euphoric Passenger says. Thank her for telling you now instead of waiting for another 10 years and leave her ass. Two years in dead bedroom is already bad enough. Worried Assignment 37 says. I feel your marriage is only going to go downhill after this. R slash dead bedrooms. Englishman says. Getting a massage. I, M48, am not wishing for lengthy responses I have been in a dead bedroom for 4 years now, our marriage is more partnership romantic intimacy has sailed. Not seeking divorce or anything drastic. So getting a happy ending massage, no 6, simple massage with hand relief at the end, is that cheating? I'm just wanting a little bit of me time. Arnold Armadillo says. Massage parlors were a stop on my post-monogamy journey. Before I started, I told my wife that I would not be celibate going forward. I offered her a divorce, which she declined. I told her that I would never lie to her, but that she should be careful of the questions she asked if she wasn't prepared to hear the answer. I enjoyed about a year of going to massage parlors once per month for a he massage. As nice as it was, Physically, there was always a language barrier as well as the notion that perhaps the masseuses were trafficked. I was never able to see the same person twice. I moved on to independent erotic massage providers, and it was an enormous improvement. I saw the same people regularly, had conversations, and built rapport. They were either topless or nude, and allowed mutual touching, but still with a HJ release. The latest stop for me has been escorts, and I'm in my happy place. I haven't had marital sex in 10 years, and I would say I'm happily married. More 108 says. Who gives a shit, if you want a handy, go get one. Millisecond's face says. Yes, it's cheating. The ethical side of whether to pursue that or not is of course entirely up to you, but of course it's cheating. One for e says. I think my wife would be relieved. Then there's no pressure on her. Physical intimacy is not something I share with my spouse. Why shouldn't I be able to get it somewhere else? Jbacca0933 says. Technically it's cheating but who cares. Sex is not love eats six, do you? And don't worry about other people's opinions point they. Are not in your shoes. Life is fun okay says. Technically could be considered cheating, but it's very good therapy, and if it helps save a marriage, and help you live a life without resentment, then go for it. Just don't get too addicted. Winter newspaper 34 says. It's cheating if you don't tell your wife about it. Have you discussed an open relationship? If she agrees, then it will not be cheating. 
if she does not a G, then start talking to a lawyer for a divorce, so you can do what you want without hurting someone else. Willing to Jadgut says. I have been doing the same for years. Once you get to know your masses it may even work into more, if you are interested. Gunrock808 says. I felt guilty the first time, but not any of the times after. Frick it. We all tried. Do what you gotta do. Witnet1 says. Just do it. Doinalright452 says. Yeah it is cheating, just got to decide if you would have any sort of guilt after the fact. r slash dead bedrooms. Friend Limagician says. What do you do to distract yourself from a low physical intimacy relationship? Married to my husband for 16 years, life is generally good. I work 4 days slash week and manage most housework slash children care. But still something missing, not even just 6, any. Physical intimacy will do really. My regular hobbies can't compensate for the lack of intimacy anymore. What do you do? Several Eagle 4141 says. You're trying to bury a core need. It's like asking how you can drink more milk to not be hungry for food. Liresk says. I actually created a mind palace as a coping mechanism. It's a fifth story apartment over Main Street in my city. I have mapped out the floor plan, the decor, even what's in the fridge. A man who does not exist meets me down the street for drinks, then we meander around for a bit before heading to the apartment. He can hardly wait for the door to shut behind us before his hands are all over me. The fantasy unspools from there. I have a rich imagination so these daydreams do seem to help when I feel especially hopeless. One other thing I'm working on is to not only drop any and all romantic expectations, but to also start viewing my husband differently. I'm reframing him in mind as a friend, not a romantic partner. This dulls the pain when we are in the same room, because it's perfectly normal for two friends to act the way we do. Incognito if he says. If you find something then let me know. I try to stay busy with exercise, Netflix, and reading. I bought a weighted stuffed animal for sleeping with lol. Old Athanium says. So much weed. Ernest 2019 says. Refrained thinking of my husband as a roommate, and that sex is something I just take care of by myself. Once every few months he finally gets horny and wants to get laid, then he's good to go for a few more months. It's a trade-off that he is a good person and we have fun together otherwise, there is just very little sex anymore. If I dwell on how things used to be, the grief would be overwhelming. Not Coil says. Wish I could give you an answer. At first like you I was, and still am attacking a hobby. I have been taking the gym to an extreme, even with injuries starting to build up. Like you said, the actives only can compensate for so long. Yep, hobbies clear your mind for a bit, but the lingering issues always seem to be building up more and more over time. I hate that I can be in a good place mentally then all of a sudden I start thinking about my marriage, and I'm right back into my rock bottom. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.